What's up guys? Shining Eevee 123 back again with some more Pokemon Crystal. Not exactly the Christmas special I was planning, but uh, I've been ill over the last few days, which is why I've only uploaded Showdown Battles, and I didn't upload yesterday because I was out uh, with my family uh, celebrating my dad's 50th. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I am still a little bit ill, so uh, this video won't be uh, as good as I had hoped, but at least we can continue on with the game as normal. And uh, go ahead and once again invade the Team Rocket um, plans, you know, spoil their plans a little bit. So, we have, of course, got this key card key now, so we can do that. And who is out front? Okay, Lee Toros out front. No need for a team recap in this episode. It hasn't been that long since I played. It was a Monday the last time I played. And actually the strangest thing happened to me. After I uploaded the video on Monday, I actually lost my voice for a couple of days. It's so weird. But, like, I... But, and I lost my voice halfway through Monday, after I uploaded the episode... And then, all of Tuesday I lost my voice. Wednesday, my voice came back a little bit, but it still wasn't perfect. And the same thing on Thursday, pretty much. I didn't see what they were sending me in, so I'm just going to go to ma uh, Magmar. Oh, coughing. Okay. But yeah, I lost my voice, so I couldn't exactly make a video. Uh, even if I wanted to, but uh, yeah, that's that's just it. Really, is um, that's how it works, I guess. But yeah, I mean, there are just times when you have to know when to stop, and I couldn't put that pressure on my voice. I just couldn't. So, that is why I didn't make a video. Oh yeah, so if you can hear background noise, there are other people here. Um, when I edit the audio, I'll probably try and cut out as much background noise as possible, but uh, there might, some might, I can't guarantee that there, there won't be any background noise whatsoever. But yeah, so I couldn't put the stress on my voice when I lost my voice because I didn't want to make it worse. So I just had to sit around and wait for my voice to come back. And unfortunately, it only came back about uh, it came back yesterday. But like I said, I was out uh, with my family for my dad's. Uh, 50th birthday, so, I mean, his his 50th birthday isn't until Wednesday officially, but we went out to celebrate in, uh, yesterday, so, that was nice. And we're battling Jessie again, by the way, and it's convenient that she has Ekans, and no one else has pointed out how she does, in fact, look like Jessie. Apparently, I'm the only one who realizes it. I don't know if it is just me noticing it or what, but I'm convinced that it does look like Jesse. And actually, I kind of already have my next few series planned, but I'm not sure what order I want to do them in. I definitely don't want to do a main series game next. So I've got two games that I'm torn between. Um... But I definitely know I'm playing a, a hack, a ROM hack, not a main series game. So, I'm pretty excited for that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, as you can tell, I have still got a bit of a cold. I've got a runny nose and i got a... Uh, yeah, i got a runny nose and i got a cough and I c can't control the cough. But hopefully... It's not too bad. And we have a Gloom. So we have two things to kill Glooms. 
But I'm going to let everyone get some on screen time. I'm going to Rogue One. <laughs> you saw Rogue One, by the way. I want to know how good it is. Let me know in the comments if you saw Rogue One and how good it was if you did see it. Because I'm interested to know. But yeah, it was just so weird when I lost my voice. Because I was like, I'm going to make a video every day. Don't worry. And then I just completely lost my voice. So I had to only make showdown battles. And honestly, that's my reason for making showdown battles. And I'm surprised that this hideout is so different than it is in the remakes. I'm shocked. I don't, I think when I played through gold, I don't remember this part of the game. Oh, we have the executive right here. So she's got our buck. Who knows, this could be Jesse for all we know. But how come the grunts only had Pokemon in the level 20s and she's got Pokemon in her early 30s? Glare! Yay! Oh. I'm glad this is a Gen 1 with rap. If you know what I'm talking about, you played Gen 1 and you know the pain of rap if you were slower. Because it just went on and on. And if you were slower, you could never get a move off. So you had to be quicker or just lose the battle, basically. Okay. Let's go back to Rogue. For this vile plume. A Pokemon I've used many times when playing through Pokemon Fire Red. Um, uh, especially when I start with Blo uh, either Squirtle or Charmander. And let me tell you this, there are not many generations where I like all three of the starter Pokemon. I think the only ones, or like, I like them all uh, about the same is what I meant. I think the only ones are about Gen 1. And... Uh, Gen 5, uh, yeah, Gen 5, so, and even then, I don't like them all the same, but, like, eek. I don't find any flaws when I pick my starter Pokemon with the team, so that's about it, and, uh, I apologize for how, how bad this video is gonna be, because I am still a little bit ill, but not the worst that I could be. In between uh, takes, though, I am probably going to cut away and go get some tissue, because this nose is just annoying. And Sandstorm, I will teach that. I will make sure I get rid of the right move. Screech may come in handy, but I don't really think I'll ever use it, so I'll get rid of that. And I'm going to cut away, and I will be back in just a sec. All right, and I'm back. I have my tissue. I'm ready to rock and roll. Kind of. I don't know. Wait a minute. Did he just turn around? I think he did. Okay. We're just going to leave it there and uh, see where this goes. Oh, Rocket Executive. Hounder, is this the guy, I think this is the last guy we have to battle, so yay, I'm still paralyzed, I didn't heal that, I forgot I was paralyzed completely, but it doesn't matter because we're going to get that surf off, which is great, I mean I know Taurus isn't a special attacker, but it's just pretty funny to me how Taurus can have surf, anyway that Hounder is going to go down, because I know Hounder, I know from experience that Houndor does not have the best special defense in the world. Coughing. Speaking of coughing, I do apologize for all the coughing I've been doing in this video. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but... It is a pain, really. And it's been a while since we've actually had the chance to catch a Pokemon, I've noticed. But we've just been doing storyline progress in this ep in the last few episodes, so we haven't had time to uh, go out and actually 
catch any new Pokemon. Okay, so that's that really. Pound Doom. Doom. Oh wow, I love that animation. I'm not a big fan of the sprite. I mean, there are better Houndoom sprites, but of course, there are only a couple of sprites of Houndoom at this point when this game came out because it was a brand new Pokemon. Are you kidding me? We're poisoned. Of course we are. Of course we are. I'm going to have to heal that off if I can. But at least we killed it in one hit, which is good. Level 37. And we beat Rocket Executive. Farewell. And here comes... The guy. The director. That's his name. The Clear Bell. We are getting a legendary. The only problem is... I don't know if we can get it yet. I think, I don't know if we need all f uh, badges, but all eight badges. All I know is we have to go and get it, I think. Oh yeah, poison. Uh, I don't want to waste a full restore. Full heal. Heal! Alright. And we do, in fact, now, oh, how do I get that? Oh, that was easy. Ultra Ball, all oh, that for an Ultra Ball. Isn't that great? You, give me something. Pink Ball, all right. That's what I wanted. That's what, what. That's the only thing we came for in the radio town. We can, we can head out now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't even know what the pink bow does. And I know there's one more lady who gives you something. I don't remember who it is. Though. Definitely not you. Oh, that's the downside to super speed. Wait. Not you. Come on, super speed. Wait, is it you? Yeah, it's you. TM11. I think that's Sunny Day. Yeah. So this is the first game, I think, that took advantage of uh, weather in games. So we've got everything we can get. I really wanted to take this Jigglypuff because we need a new team member, but I'm not going to bother taking it just yet. You know what? Let's let's uh, try our luck. Let's see if we win anything. Nope, <laughs> nothing. We tried. We tried. All right. So that's basically all there is to this. So I'm going to heal up. And we will be back in just a sec. Alright, we're back here in Mahogany Town. As you can see, someone new is in this shop here. Yep, someone else has taken over this place because Team Rock. The funny thing is, the stairs are still there and you can buy Rage Candy Bars all you want and potions and repels and revives and all kinds. But revives to us are useless, so... Let's see if we can sell anything. That nugget can go. What's that do? Powers up normal type moves. I might give that to Tauros. We'll see. I've got plenty of potions. I don't mind fighting wild Pokemon. So let's just head to the west. East. Yeah, let's head to the east. <laughs> A burnt berry. 
Fantastic. I don't want to, even if I can get the legendary yet, I don't feel confident enough to go and get it. So we're just going to leave it for now and head this way. Because I want some other encounters. Natu. A Pokemon I would love to use. I've actually used Natu in the past. It isn't that bad. It's pretty good. I kind of wish it existed in first gen though. The only downside is you would have had to have an ice or electric type to beat it. You wouldn't have been able to use dark types because they didn't exist yet. Or a rock type can beat it as well, actually. And Kadabra. I'm just going to stay in and keep pursuing. Because why not? Oh, you jerk. Alright. And there's the future site. Alright, I'm just going to strength for you. Forget it. Forget it. I'm not showing you any mercy now, Kadabra. And we defeated Psychic Phil. And we get a Max Repel! <coughs> Excuse me. Again. There's a fisherman dude, so we are going to make sure my lowest level is at the front, and that's funny how it is in fact rogue. Oh why, Alan, why? Why'd you have to ruin this moment? I mean you're getting stronger, nice for you, but I don't want to battle you yet. If I'm going to do any trainer rematches, I'll probably do them before the Elite Four for the, for the training that I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to do a grinding montage for that, but I definitely want to train before the Elite Four. Just to make it a little bit easier. And I'm going to bite this Remoraid. Bite the squid. Bite the squid. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> wow, my... Cough is bad. 108 speed, though, on uh, Crobat. Crobat, I think, is the f joint fastest thing in the game, along with Electrode. I think I've said this already, but I'm going to repeat it anyway. And we get a thousand for win. Only a thousand for winning. Thanks. Now we have to be really careful here because we do get our encounter. Okay. But I wanted my encounter to be from the grass and a max revive. That's really throwing it in our face. <coughs> wow. Alright. Let's go. Lick your tongues, our encounter. Can we catch the thing? Hopefully we can. Confuse Ray. I mean, I wouldn't mind using Lick a Tongue, honestly. I mean, Owen from Ohio used one in his Leaf Green Walk uh, Let's Play, and he did a really good job of using it, so... You know, it would be nice if I can use this thing. Leech Life is going to do absolutely nothing to this thing. Are you kidding me? You have Lick. This thing isn't... Although Lick a Tongue is not as good as it is in future games, because it doesn't get its evolution... And it doesn't have access to the move Power Whip, which is one of my favorite physical grass type moves. Please hit yourself in confusion. Way. All right. Wait, I keep going to the wrong place. All right. Two Ultra Balls, 18 Great Balls. Let's just throw a Great Ball, see how well we do. Can we catch the Lickitung? Yes, we can. All right. I'm probably not going to use it yet because we already have a normal type. But it would be a nice Pokemon to use. And what to call it? It's a male. So that works. I'm just going to call it what it, what it was called in Owen from Ohio's uh, Leaf Green playthrough. Mark. And I'm going to super speed to get the heck out of there. And let's put, yeah, let's put Roxanne up front. 
Just because. You look strong. Good training. Seek tough opponents. Instinctively. I couldn't read that word for a minute. <laughs> cool trainer Sybil. Sybil? Sybil? I'll be her simultaneously. That was a bad joke. That was a real bad joke. This is why I don't make comedy videos. Because I'm not all that funny. I mean, I like to try and think I'm funny, but I'm, I know deep down that I'm not. She's got Belossum. One of my favorite uh, Gen 2 Pokemon, actually. I think it's very underrated for what it is. I just fire punched the Belossum. Of course, that was a low blow from Magmar. So, what can you expect? I actually used the Belossum last time I played through Pokemon Emerald, and it turned out really good. Oh, I was not expecting to see you there. That was a cheap shot. Oh, well. But yeah, I used the Belossum when I last played through Pokemon Emerald, and actually... It turned out really good. So, that was alright. Charmeleon. Good job, Roxanne is still up front because otherwise this would be hell. And uh, Charmeleon is not quite dead yet. Smoke screen is gonna miss. That's good. Tackle. I was about to say, if that missed, <laughs> it's just a shame that. Onyx has all these low accuracy moves that are hardly ever going to hit anything. It is a really, sh it is a real shame. But now there is another trainer up here, I believe. Yes, but I'm not going to battle them yet. Instead, I'm going to grab this Ultra Ball. And if I remember what this trainer has correctly, I probably, I probably don't. But we're just going to put. Um, polyrath up front anyway, and see, I probably got the completely wrong trainer, but oh well, let's just go with it anyway, and pretend I know what we're talking about, I didn't get the wrong trainer, that's okay, he has a Rhyhorn on his team, I've always remembered for some reason that this trainer specifically has Rhyhorn, I don't know if it's because of the original games and how much I've played them, but I definitely remember that there's always a Pokemaniac on this route, up at this, up at the north end of this route that has a Rhyhorn on his team, and I've always remembered that. So with that, I'm going to end the episode off here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like the video so you know when... Let me, let me know when you... If you're liking the series, make sure you subscribe so you know when I upload next and turn on your notifications as well. And Shining Eevee 123, signing out. Oh, excuse me, Shining Eevee 123, over and out. Maybe I'll get my catchphrase right first time next time. See you guys next time.